Okay, so what do we want to do next? Frontline Bard. I I feel like I'd need an item to really pull that off. So every character has a mastery level? Yeah, it just affects an aura around them, though. It's not actually that cool. See, bard only. Oh, that'd be interesting. Make a team with unused characters. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. No, that wouldn't work. Attacks and attacks against you burn the enemy. It would be really interesting to go for Pyromancer. Upgraded items appear in rewards less often. Ugh, that's tough. Yeah, defeat a boss with one hero remaining. I see the thing is I really want to unlock the fiend. But that's gonna be hard. Yeah, we could do we could try wild mage for tank again. But the main issue is the pyromancer just has like no defense and health, which makes him really hard to pull off as a tank. We could do blood mage again just because blood mage is fantastic and a decent healer. Let's go with this. Okay, so extra max HP. Nah. Always Magician. Actually, Magician is a damn trap. It's... Because reducing ability cost by 15%. Wait. I gotta look at that again. Oh, no. It, it is not a damn trap. It's actually really good. I think I was looking in the wrong character. Yeah, no, that's actually really good. Okay, so let's see about these three. We're probably going to get demolished, mainly because the Pyromancer does not have the defense. He does set enemies on fire every time they hit him, though, which is kind of interesting. So I'm just going to try a uh, retaliatory pyromancer. And just see how this rolls. Let's see. We'll probably want to swing the priest for healing, maybe. Or, no, warlock for healing. Why is this working? Yeah, poison and fire. If this were divinity, the enemy would explode. I would love if more games had combo elemental effects. It would make me the happiest camper. actually working baffling, bafflingly well.
Watcher's Hatchet would be good. I think I might want to go Speed Frostmancer. Oh, it's a 50% chance to apply Frost. Uh-oh. Pop that. That was closer than I wanted it to be. That just increases the attack damage. Let's go Blood Mage. Okay. So we do have Haldanir's Cursed Blade. Otherwise, I could sell something to try and get Symbiote. Oh. I have an idea. Also, I... Oh, goddammit, is it frozen again? It totally is. I've missed some things. So, thank you, Tasha with the Ninja, for the five-month resub. Thank you, Sergeant Ming, for the sub, and welcome on in. What else did I miss? Oh, the Owen for the 33 month resub. Thank you. Okay. So how do we want to do this one? I I think I'm going to buy the symbiote. And we're just going to keep going. The reason why is I want to see if I can do speed frostmancer nuke. Uh, the only problem is boss enemies are immune to freeze. Which isn't that great. Got brain Sage. That might be a good heal. Speaking of. Go for that. Uh, let's see. And let's go up here. So that just gives us a little bit of a heal. Oh, right. We're going to try Warlock healing. That's what we we're going to do. Grab another one of these. Give him that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gotta check the map for a second. So we're gonna have to scoot down if I want to get that other mid boss. And I probably do. painful. Got him. Whew. Yeah, unfortunately, Tank Pyromancer is just weird. Let's see, these encounters seem very hard for the first area. It's mostly my fault. I'm trying a really stupid idea.
and want to see if I can pull it off. Okay. Let's go with that. And then I might just skip the shop. Mainly just because it's not going to provide me a whole lot of benefit at this point. Okay, come on, Blood Mage. Okay, go shopping. Nah. It's oddly familiar. It may work with more mana region on the Blood Mage. What I really want to get is the mirror on the Blood Mage. Ooh. The Feral Druid is a little spooky. I should probably move the Blood Mage up front. Okay. Give him that. just give him the frail defense. I'm not sure if tower shield is really that good. Oh geez, he loses five defense. Yep. There we go. Well, we're pulling it off, oddly. Let's grab the War Mage's Great Staff. This is certainly odd. We're kind of pulling off. If I can get the mirror, I'll be a happy camper. Ah, <sighs> so I could go Warlock. And just try and go for the damage healing. But honestly, it seems we just got the War Mage's Great Staff. Maybe we go Wild Mage. Yeah, let's go Wild Mage. I feel like I go Wild Mage too often, but he's just so good. Okay, let's go Merchant Prices Reduced. It is it is the mage party. Alright, let's skip shop until later. We do have a lot of money, but why do it now? Alright, I have these orbs I should probably spend. Okay. Gain the gate. None of these are that exciting. Alternatively, I could just give this guy yet another safety slime. Just go wild on him. Ah, applies frost to adjacent enemies, yes. We gotta get it on him. 
Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we're losing my Pyromancer a lot more than I'd like here. Just grab the Cosmos Mantle. I don't really know if I necessarily want it. Let's go for the Holy Water. Do so go for the events, or do we keep fighting enemies? Let's go for the events. If I can give these guys some extra max HP, that'll go a long way. Nope. I guess the other option is we actually move the Pyromancer to the back and put the Blood Mage as our healer. As like a heal tank? Yeah, but I like... I like the Pyromancer just for the ability to burn enemies that hit him. Let's do that, but let's give him the Ascension Cloak. It should work. Oh, does he just hit random targets? He does. I'm not even sure if that was worth it. I... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. How are we looking on this one? Yeah, let's keep doing this. Giving him the Ascension Cloak just so he can pass it over uh, to the Wild Mage to pick up the slack helps tremendously. What does Doom do? Oh, Doom is spooky. Oh. Okay, so there's the Witch Stick. Actually, I think this is the completed build on him. We just have to upgrade it. Because Zephyr Pendant for the attack speed, Witch Stick so we can use his ability more, uh, which reduces the cost, and Great Mage's War Staff, which just gives him mad, mad shield. Okay, and we want to fight both. Okay. It's got stinky. Damn it. I thought I had it. But I guess he had the one one shot potential to stink me. <sighs> yeah, part of it is we've got the items that we need for our build, but we need to upgrade them to actually make them viable. I still don't know what to do about the Pyromancer. We needed that armor from the Rhino. I was I got greedy and hoped for the sword. Okay. I got 350 muns. Let's actually swing let's swing the shop now. This one's interesting. Reverie Totem. Reduce the speed of all other heroes and enemies by 30% every two seconds. Doesn't that more or less just make it that one character just goes on a soloing spree?
You know what? That's really tempting. Let's give it a shot. Okay, do we have any other garbage that we don't really need right now? Sleets and Saber? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. There we go. Map, let's just give this a shot. Okay. I think we need to put this on another guy. Yeah, so spellcasting is not affected by speed. But regular attacks are. Okay. I think I know how to get this to work. Uh, let's just go over the gold stash. We need a different character. Damn it, there's Godbreaker. want Godbreaker. Would I rather upgrade? So this is tough, because Godbreaker just flat increases damage, adds an AoE, and makes it so you have a 20% chance to stun all enemies. Which doesn't work against bosses. That's a tough one. No. I'm just going to upgrade the Witch Stick. Then we're going to try this instead. Let's just go speed speed blood mage. This guy keeps clearing my buffs. Okay, well that was interesting. Grab Deathbringer. I still think I can put this on a better guy. Oh, 
but we'll have to see how this rolls. I'm probably going to take an L on this one. I mean, we knew we knew that this was going to be kind of rough. Ow. Stupid doom. Got the soul slicer, I guess. It looks like there is probably an upper limit on enemy speed. That it caps them out at speed 5. Okay, here we go. Eh, it worked out ish. Grab the burden. All right, here we go. All right, so we want to grab the berserker. I think this will work. I could be wrong. All right, let's make haste. Wheel of fortune. Close that for a second. So we want to stick these on this guy. Give him the shield. I don't actually know if that's better. I guess give him that. Uh, let's see. Whose ability do I boost? Might as well boost his. And then his. Alright, let's give this a shot. I... Honestly, minimal confidence. It seems like the enemy... Our enemies have enough... Oh, shoot. I didn't actually finish upgrading the Blood Mage. Okay. That worked. A, that actually worked a little bit better. Let's just give him the poison. He doesn't actually have to be in the front. He can be in the back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, slowing things down, namely slowing down the twisted subject is huge. That sucker is brutal. This is weird. Why is this working? I'll just take the gold. But yeah, the main reason why I wanted to put it on the Berserker is the Berserker gains three damage every time he uh, he takes a swing at an enemy. And so ideally what I'd like to do is make it so that he can... Um, he can effectively just scale his own damage up really fast over here. Well, everybody else is just slow as heck. Yeah, I was hoping to give him Realm Breaker. But I I think we got it. Uh, let's see. Main issue is we just only have upgraded one character and everybody else is just kind of using whatever.
Nah. We don't even have good items to upgrade. Let's just roll a bunch of these. Let's absorb. Yeah, morale might be an issue. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it here. Well, hmm. We'll see how this goes. Okay, let's reduce their initial speed. Uh-oh. I absolutely despise that guy. Yep, morale is definitely an, a problem. Okay. Should be fine. Now, the one thing that would make this way easy would be Realm Tooth. But I don't know if we're going to see it go by. Because I could put Realm to Tooth on this guy. It's, it wouldn't heal that much, but it would keep my guys alive. Who could not? I don't give a damn. Okay. Master of Arms is spooky. if I can keep his mana down enough that he just can't do abilities well we killed him ooh hi oh these are tough Like, Haldanir's Cursed Blade would be really good, but only kind of on him. Esoteric Keystone I could put on the Blood Mage just to keep the Blood Mage alive. Just gonna have to upgrade it. Okay, and we have to hit the shop. Okay. Uh, let's lose two morale, gain defense. Or gain two ability orbs. I mean, realistically, we're going for this. Reason being, my morales are really low, and we're right next to super sudden death mode anyway. So, what's the worst that could happen? Somebody gets knocked out, and then we just lose. Uh, I probably should have planned on that one. Nah, eh, whatever. There's also Book of the First. Every five times you attack, gain one a gate. I could put it on him instead of the Witch's Stick. For... Potentially really goofy stuff. Instead... Let's see. Upgrade that. Sell these. Sell pretty much everything that I've got.
I'm gonna make this guy just super valid tank. Okay. So hopefully this way the Blood Mage heals like crazy. The Pyromancer tanks like crazy. And we'll just pull it off. Okay. I'd love the max HP, but we're gonna go for just the attack speed. Because it's boss battle time. Oh, it... It's the Hydra. All right. If I flawless this, we get that little bit of a buffer that I need. So this guy's got crazy shields. We get healing for the blood mage. What the heck kind of run was this? All right, there we go. Chop master. Super Beast is going. There we go. Got it. Okay. Just grab the Demon Prism. Put it there. Let's make haste. Ah, oh, that... Every living hell did I pull this off. In retrospect... Um... He's doomed, isn't he? Well, so be it. We have the, uh, we have the mana to pull this off. And honestly, with the slow... Maybe we'll be fine. Because, yeah, the Pyromancer with his crazy HP, and then this guy with his stupid healing from Esoteric Keystone more or less makes it so he just cannot die. Oh. You know what's tragic? They... They killed my beef man. <laughs> ah! You know what? I flew close to the sun and I got burned. It is what it is, and it was it was fun all the same. For a pure mage run that was wild, but obviously <laughs> ended how it ended. I will say though, Blood Mage I think is going to just be a automatic add to almost every party. He is way too good to be ignored. <laughs>